Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou, with the Messy Craft Corner. Come say hello, you guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello to everyone. Let's see if I'm going to be able to get rid of this today. Yep, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't get rid of it yesterday, but for whatever reason, I couldn't. Come say hello, you guys. I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. Better? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Hello, Becky Smith. First one here. Becky Smith is the first one here. And we are live in the Crafty Bunch event today. And they've been crafting with branches all day long, you guys. So um, we're going to work in my apple journal because, you know, apple trees, apple branches, apple... Apple apples, and I was telling you guys that I had something that I thought I might want to use. Um, it was from my mom's. My mom had it hanging on one of her cupboards, and um, I don't know where she ever came up with it. And I thought I might want to use it to kind of hang off of this book, and I might still. Um, I just don't know about you know, we might have to tie this up a little higher just so that way it's you know, do all the things, but that's out of the that's out of the left field. So, hey, Tisha. Hello, Jennifer. We have 45 minutes in which we can work on this book together. So come on in and say hello. Let's talk about what my plans are for the cover. <laughs> I don't have any. I'm not even joking, you guys. I'm not sure. I still am going like back and forth about what I really want to do versus what I can do and all the things. So let's just chat for a minute. This, um, this a uh, printable was from what did I do with it I had the whole bundle of them here it is the printable is from uh sweet peas paper paradise she is a very sweet lady with um some amazing designs in her shop you can check it out um, if, let's see, if Becky or Molly are here, if you could put me in the junk journal jamboree, that would be great. So, um, you guys, we did some work in this for the Crafty Bunch before, and, um, it was for the, I forget, apple picking, farmhouse making, something like that. And, um, it's got a lot of places to write, places to add photos, places for us to stick things and to glue things on and such. This here, I got to tell you, this, I only glued a portion of this down. I'm looking all over from my glue. And I only glued part of it down. And every time I go to turn the page, this pops up. So I'm over that. And we'll do some out here too, just to get that put back into place you guys so a book like this is great for putting things in it for apples uh if you go to the apple grove to pick apples if you um go on a hayride um if you just go on a hike in the fall this is a great book it's got a lot of it's bright colors still so um the challenge today is to work with um branches and I got to admit I full on was going to go outside and I was going to pick some branches from or grab some branches from outside and it has been raining for two days here so that's not going to happen so I went to the flower wall and I pulled off a um a pick a floral pick and yeah it has a pumpkin but we can do some other stuff with the branch parts from this, okay? So, like, the two leaves are super swell. It has this branch-like thing, and it does have some... I don't know what that is. But we're going to make something happen on the cover today. So let's take a look. I also have this... It's a clear stamp. I couldn't see it. I also have this clear stamp, which, if you look on the packaging... They have it used for, um, like, <coughs> barn board. But I got to tell you, uh, I see trees. Um, if we do it this way, yeah, I'm seeing more barn board. But if we go this direction on any of this stuff, I'm seeing trees. So, also, something like this, and I don't know because I didn't really try it out. Hang on a second. Let's just... Hold on. I, I have Christmas and fall is everywhere in here, you guys. <laughs> 
Um, let's just take a look at this and see. Um, <clears throat> I think that a stamp like this, you guys are always trying to get me to find stamps that have like journaling lines on it. But I want you to know a stamp like this could very well, um, give us that kind of effect. Let's take a look and see. Oh, absolutely. Look at, you can totally use this to journal on, right? So this is, this came from Hobby Lobby and I found it in my Hobby Lobby's clearance section and I paid just 99 cents for it. So, um, if you put it one way, it's barn board. If you put it this way, I see forest. Okay. So we can, one can pretend because either way, branches make, branches make boards, right? Am I right? Am I on the right track or am I way off in left field somewhere? Someone tell me, <laughs> because if I'm way out there, then I just will sit it to the side and we won't use it. Um, okay. So I have my glue machine heating up over here. So my thought was, um, I pulled these out. These are bits and bobs <laughs> or they're from bits and bobs and they're self-adhesive and they, they look like, um, slides or picture frames and, um, there are 3d stickers, what they are really. Okay. So if I pull this out. And they're supposed to be double-sided. And see how you can see through that? I was wanting to try it on something like here. Because we can create something. I don't know. I think we might could find something that will fit inside of that as a frame. And then this centerpiece comes off. Um... But what do I want to do for the cover? That's, I keep coming back to that. And I kind of like this. Okay. So I printed this on doubles or on cardstock. This is not me. This is how the kit came. You're making bread. Go you. Um, the kit came with these like pieces that look like they're sewn and they're not. So I didn't do that. Although I do have a stamp that I can make that happen. I can make it look like that. But, um, so I'm thinking of putting this and then taking these leaves. If I pull these off, right, from this, this harvest pick, the harvest pick came from Walmart last year, I think. Um, we can definitely take them and we can make something happen here. Look at this. Or we can do this which I kind of like. I kind of like the one at the top and one at the bottom. I sort of like that. Let me just say. And then, you know, these can be branches. <laughs> okay. This is what I, this is what I got today. You guys, I have these kind of like branch branches that we can add. And then I have these ones that I just pulled that, um, that leaf off of, right? Hold on. Oh, I have allergies, you guys. Alara got dedicated at church this morning. We had such a lovely time um, visiting with my, my, all but my son Josh was there because he had to work. So um, there was that, but we had such a fun time, but we can use these and, you know, we can make, we can make it look kind of foresty, right? So just by taking the backside off of the leaf, we now created something that looks a little branch like, right? A little bit like branches. And we can make this happen. We can make it happen, you guys. I'm just saying. Where did I put the other one? Here we go. This will work good. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm I think I'll be happy with this, to be honest with you. Like so. See that? See how it looks at the bottom and that how it looks at the top. Doesn't that look cool? And then, um, I'm still like playing around with this, with this apple, with this apple to add an extra kind of piece to it. But hold on because, 
Oh, we have these little, look, in a barrel. This might be cool. No, it's too big. Well, it almost was cool. <laughs> um, but we got lots of branch-like things that we can use here, right? Um, so I'm just looking. Hold on. Because I really want to try and use one of those. And I got these stamp ones that look like stamps. And I'm just looking to see, like, what will... I don't know, guys. I haven't used them in so long that I really am just unsure what I want it to look like. Oh, I got it. Not this one. I had two in my hand. <laughs> look at this. Okay. So we can take this. Let me set this to the side. That's that's a given. We're doing that. We might be doing that, but we might be doing this. Okay, so these pieces are, they're stickers, okay? And they're really sticky, you guys. And if you take this, you can, you can kind of frame out what you want to happen there. Just like so, right? Okay, so a couple of things. You can cut out the center of that to create like a little frame, right? So, um, do I want to do that? If I do, where is my... Here we go. So, let's just use this. Just trim it along there, see? Or just trim it. Use an exacto knife. Be careful to not cut your fingers. Just like that. See how it's got like that shiny, almost like watercolor. Okay, now we can cut out the center. So keep your fingers out of the way because you don't want to have any accidents. Not today, anyways. <laughs> oh, one more. Oops. Okay, so just like so. Now we've created this kind of frame, right? And maybe, I don't know yet. <laughs> Wait here and see in a second. Maybe we're going to put this like this and we'll put this down on the bottom corner down here. And then you can put like a word or a phrase or something in there that would just be kind of cool. Um, I did have some, I thought I had some fall phrases. Um, this is pretty please. Let's see. These are all way too big. <laughs> I think. Okay, so see this right here? That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. We can put this, something like this, in the center. Okay, this one is not quite going to be big enough. See, we're just going to be cutting that off. Same thing there. That would have been a good one. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. I like that one. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan what we can do. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take this. I'm going to scooch this up a bit. And we're going to do some cutting, you guys. So hold on a minute. Okay, so let's see what we have here. 
So it's got those apples kind of behind there, right? I don't know. It still seems like it's cutting it off. I can always put something in there later. Okay? Because I'm like going about it and I'm feeling like... Eh, we can put an apple pie. I'm just saying apple pie goes with just about everything, you guys. I say we go for the apple pie. What do you guys say? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can definitely get apple pie in there. He likes. Tell me if he likes. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to trim this off here. Okay. And we're going to trim it off over here. Just like so. And then all we have to do is just glue that on to the back side there. And then we can take this and we can glue it down with our cover, right? Apple would have been a good word, yeah. Okay, so tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning at um, 10 o'clock, you guys, we're going to do um, Rolodex cards. We're going to do uh, Memory Decks Monday, like we did last time, um, last week. And we had so much fun that we're going to do it again. And um, let me just hold on a second. I have to think about this so I don't put it in the wrong spot. And then... Um, Tomorrow at four o'clock, I'm going to be live um, on Lee Lexi Creations. If you didn't hear, um, Andrina's grandmother passed away. So some of us are helping her out and getting, keeping her page up and running. So uh, that's two places you can watch me tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let's get these glued in place. Here's our branches. Where's my other? These are kind of spooky branches, but we can maybe put some of these in. And have it work. Let's see. So we're just going to kind of offset these a little bit from what we have going on. And let's glue this down. I'm using, yes, I'm using hot glue on a book. It's okay. Do, do, do. Um, Molly. I've had them for quite a long time, um, so I can't really say. Not that I can't tell you, but I don't know to tell you. Um, if I, I'll try and look some up and see if I can find something equivalent, since I know what I have. Um, now, this is going to probably melt that, because it usually will. There's one little apple branch. And here comes the other little apple branch. Off and up to there. And those are just branches that were on the back sides of those leaves, you guys. Okay? <laughs> they were just back there. Um, and then we're going to put this on right over the top like that. So what I, I don't know if I want to do it is I don't know if I want to put hot glue or Fabri-Tac. One of the two is going to happen though. And then we're going to take our little apple pie piece and we're going to, we're going to section it down here. Can you guys see that? Okay. Just cause I think that looks really cute. I think we're good. I think I was kind of on the right track. There's a little more branch and up here we can add, you know, a little more branch if we want. I don't mind the spooky branch. <laughs> Just saying. The spooky branch don't bother me much. Okay, and now we're just going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue. Careful with hot glue and paper because you can burn your fingies really quickly. Especially if you drop it. And let's just frame that up, okay? Let me press that down. 
You leave Wednesday morning to drive Texas from Washington State. Yes, Jennifer, I have that down that you were, that is a trip that you were planning to make. So there we go. And then we have this piece here that's going to go kind of over that leaf. Now, if this isn't enough fall leaves for you, you can get some of those wooden ones like I have. You know, these kind, and you can add them sort of here, there, and everywhere. But I like it. I like it kind of muted like this, so I'm not going to do that. But again, if you do, you know, y'all do you. You do what you like and what you think looks good because they're your books, okay? So, yeah, let's say safe travels for sure. Um, let me tell you about my week. Um, today is the Crafty Bunch. Tomorrow, I told you, is at 10 o'clock here for uh, Memory Decks Monday. And then uh, at 4 o'clock on Lee Lexi's. And I think I might be doing some um, ATC cards over there. So it's okay. It's okay if I don't. Hey, Chrissy Coleman. What you been doing, girl? We miss you. We need you back on your page, girl. Okay. And then um, Tuesday is Crafters in the Kitchen. Elizabeth will be on at 1.30, and I'm going to be on at 4.30. You can watch all of the crafters that day in the free group Crafters in the Kitchen. Wednesday. I have Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to be doing something for sure over in the journal, the new Faith Journaling group. It's a free group you can join. Um we already have some things happening over there and all the stuff, and it's going to be loads of fun. Okay, now I do realize my string is going to go across there because I should have put it underneath, but it's okay. Like, I'm not mad, okay? I, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, Thursday, we're going to be doing snippet rolls, so you can join us for snippet rolls if you like. And what else? Friday, who knows? Who knows? I think Friday, it's just, we're going to just call it who knows Friday because <laughs> we just never do know. Right. So, um, hang on one second. I want to make sure I know I'm the last presenter, but I don't want to go past the time allotted to me because it's not really fair to other crafters. Okay. So in here we have, you know, this one, you have these like kind of plain ones too. So we can use those wherever we like throughout this book if we want to. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do a uh, pocket, right? Because we need a pocket. So I was going around and around about what kind of pocket did I want to add? And I keep coming back to the same piece, the same piece of um, vintage fabric piece. Where is it? Here we go. And it just all unraveled onto the floor. Um, I keep coming back to that for a belly band. Um, and so that for a belly band, but I, I don't know. Hear me out about the gold, okay? I know some of you are like, gold, really? But you guys, in the cover, there's little strippings of gold. See it? Okay, so my thinking is we can use this that unraveled everywhere as a belly band if we like. I, and you know, when I hold it up to it, I'm like, I don't like it. And we can use this as a pocket. Okay, we can make it a small pocket. We can make it a along the lines out here. Oh, let's do that. Let's add this as a pocket along here. I know it's gold and it's a little bit... Phew, in our faces, but, um, look at how cute these will look tucked in here. Okay. And then you guys can create, you know, pies and recipes and stuff and tuck inside of here as well, if you like. So I say we do that. What do you think? Do you guys like that idea? I know it's gold and I know it's kind of flashy, but it does bring out the gold there. Wait to see if at least one person agrees with me. <laughs> because maybe you won't. We could also take them, um, we can take it on the back cover. And we can make it a belly band back there. Uh, and we can do either direction, it doesn't matter. Try the cream on top of the gold. Absolutely, we can totally try that. 
Let's see what it looks like. Who said that? Whoever said that? Yeah, I'm again, I'm still not so convinced with it. It will like dull down the color of the gold. But I also have this stuff, you guys. Oh, good golly. There's so much of it, Larry, and it's a it's a It's a Here's a little Here's knot. A little knot you work on that, huh? <laughs> Remember when you asked me earlier, could you help me? <laughs> I have coffee in my hand. You want me oh. <laughs> to, what do you want me to do? Coffee, well, it's okay. Coffee, it's yeah. okay if you coffee diet. I don't care. Just stick <laughs> it. It'll probably be pretty good flavor. This is good coffee. I do like the gold too. But what if we put like this smaller little piece of cream up the gold. on there? Yeah. What about that? If you like. Thoughts on that one, you guys? Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? I love to hear your input. And then, you know, we can take... The touch there. You know that. Breaking it up. We're breaking it up, babe. <laughs> um, we can take a tag or something and we can put it like this. And that will also just give us a little something on there. You like that? You like the smaller cream? Okay. The, off we go with the smaller cream. Now, this is... Um, lace that is supposed to be sewed onto something okay so see this how it's like scalloped so you i'm gonna let it raw it's fine but we can also use this along the edges of our book as well if we want to so but and it's soft enough that we can use it like through tags and things also and then i have there is stuff everywhere so tell me do you like the tea set? That's going to stick out past. It's okay, though. I'm okay with things sticking out past where it's supposed to go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Or did you like the tag? That is also... I mean, look at this one. Under the apple tree. It's, it's meant to be folded and you can journal on one side. See? But um, I, we could do under the apple tree. Weave another ribbon through the cream lace. I could, but listen, I have such very little. First of all, I have a little bit of patience. <laughs> That's one problem. <laughs> um, the other problem is I have, I don't have a lot of, because I used to do home decor stuff. I have a lot of big ribbon, big, fat two inch, three inch, one and a half inch. I don't have a lot of this like quarter inch stuff that will zoom through here nicely. See, this is gonna, uh, I don't know. Hang on. I'm, I'm willing to try. Do you like the apple tree one? Chrissy is saying the apple tree tag. Chrissy Coleman, I have not seen you on a live here in a little while. I am so happy that you're here with us. So I don't know if this is going to work because of the blue. Also because, I don't know, can you guys imagine that or should I do a couple more? Can you imagine that weave through there? I can't. <laughs> I'm new to journaling, Sue is saying. For a signature, to use cardstock or what kind of paper? Well, let's talk about that for a second while you guys can make up my mind about the blue ribbon. Because <laughs> uh, blue ribbon, I mean, it goes along. Blue ribbon, apple pie, the whole thing. I can make it work. Okay, so for a signature, Sue, welcome. First of all, I'm super glad that you're here. And I'm so glad that you want to jump into junk journaling. Second of all, um, I'm glad that each and every one of you are here. There's, um, there was 72 here a bit ago. It's fluctuating back and forth. I'm so happy that you're all here to learn. I appreciate you all, even if this is not your thing. Okay, so what I did, Sue, was for this particular book, I printed off the junk journal kit, and then I added extra things. This is a bag, like a treat bag. And if you look at the other side of it... I did not do it. I was going to cut off the end so that way I could put stuff in either direction, okay? And there's places to write. There's places to add extra things. I have all the extra things over here, okay? So flips, flaps, folds, all of the stuff we have. 
and we added some things so far. Okay, so we added this, and this is a greeting card. So greeting cards. Um, lay it behind and don't weave it. Well, that speaks to my not having a whole lot of patience heart. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Ruth might be right, you guys. Ruth might be onto something there if we just... Oh, yeah, we could do that. That could definitely... That could work for us. What do you think, guys? Do you like that? Yes, 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 yes. I think we can... I mean, I'm going to have to finagle it and glue it down and all this stuff, but I think we can make that happen. Um, Some of the papers with apples look upside down. I know, but you guys, it, it's okay. If I put them in upside down, it's okay. If you look here and I go back here, we go, oh, I'm going to just not look on this book because we go over this all the time. <laughs> if you look back here, the apples are the right way. This is a flaw in the design, not mine. Okay. So yes, this looks upside down back here. It looks right side up. So if I would have put this in the other way back here, it's going to look upside down. So there are several places. Yes. I know that the apples look upside down. These are just falling everywhere. And if, again, if I go to the back back here, where it is, you can see this is upside down. This is upside down. So it, the main ones are right side up and that's what, yes, I print these on copy paper. The main ones are right side up and that's kind of the important thing. Like this is upside down, but if I'd have flipped it around the other way, it would still have an upside down piece. These look like cherries. I've several times thought, oh, that looks like a cherry. These look like peaches. So, you know, it's, it is, we'll just have fun with it, right? So you can add writing paper, dictionary paper, music paper, envelopes. Um, I use a lot of different things, but this kit had so much in it, you guys, that I was happy with it. So let's get gluing this down. We're going to do it. So we're going to go along the line here. I am using Fabri-Tac glue because I'm using fabric to fabric. Um, but I print some, some ladies like in the junk journal jamboree group, they print theirs on cardstock. Um, I did that for one thing and I was not very pleased with it. So I don't do the cardstock thing anymore. Now I'm not going right up to the edge of the book because I don't want to have, um, this interfering with the opening and closing of the pages. So I leave a little bit of space. And that's an up to you thing, okay? Yeah, and if you ever are watching and you have questions and I miss it, several of the ladies on here, they journal as well. And they can answer questions. And they're here to welcome you and all the things as well. We have some new friends here tonight. All right, for new friends. Yes, new. yes. And, you know, so I like that my old friends, and I don't mean my old age friends, but my Old friends. I like that my old friends help out with answering questions. Some of these girls have been here since the beginning. So. We forgot to put fuel in the car. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do this, you guys. Thank you, Mrs. Buckwalter, for telling me, for telling me to do it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bloop of glue there. Okay. And we're going to add a little bloop of glue down here. And I'm going to just pull it and plop it. Pull and plop. <laughs> I print, yes, the ephemera pieces. This is printed on cardstock. So I don't need the backside of the tag, but I'm going to keep the backside of the tag. And let's just get my happy hole punch here. And we're gonna hole punch that because it's a tag. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna overlay this. Okay, we're gonna overlay this, and then we're gonna overlay this over the top. And when I do, I'm gonna loop a ribbon through there, same color, so it kind of looks like it goes right. So the way I like to make wait, hold on. I was about to show you guys all that. Um, oh, hang on. My glue is having a 
a little bit of a fit. All right, so I'm adding this along here and then I'm just adding this straight down along there. I don't want to put it to the gold because I don't want it to seep through and close off my pocket. So keep that in mind too if you're doing something like this with all these overlays. And we'll just press that down just like so. Look at how pretty that looks. And I, yes, I know I left some stick up and above and I'm okay with that. Oh, that looks really cute. And then we're going to do this. Um, let me get... Um, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to use the green oh. <laughs> eyelet. We're going to set an eyelet, too. Yeah, my girls here, they are all a lot of help. I appreciate them all so much. Um, so you just drop your eyelet into place here. Okay. And then, um, this is a, we are memory keepers. Um, it just went out of my brain, but it punches holes and it sets eyelets. So when I punch the hole and then I set the eyelet, now my eyelet is set in my page and we can go ahead and we can loop our th ribbon through there. So here we go. It's blue. I know it looks black on camera, but it actually is blue. Um, and it did say it on here somewhere. So it's just a real deep blue. I know it looks black though, doesn't it? Okay. So straight through here and then I'm pulling these through that loop. Okay. And now I have this loop and I know I have a big long line of it. Here's why I want to take this and I just want to tie a bow just like so, right? And then we're just going to pull this out like that. And we'll trim this up, you guys. We're going to trim it up kind of short. Because I don't want those loops flipping and flopping all over the place. And we're just going to put that under the apple tree. Now, I'm taking a piece of, um, this is just plastic. Okay, and I'm going to slip this under there because this is too big. Hang on, we'll use this one. Um, because then that way when I glue this down, it's not going to glue straight through. Okay? It might go through the holes, but... Um, Grace, I, um, I was buying my eyelets from Shauna at Fraps and Scraps, but I tried a new company, um... And that's where these came from. And I got to tell you, they're a little bigger than what Shauna sends. So I'll just refer you back to Shauna at Fraps and Scraps. Just let her know that I told you to come on over there uh, to purchase eyelets. So I'm going to be using them up because obviously I spend money on them. But, um, you know, there we go. Hello, Miss Jill. So there we go, you guys. Now we have, and I'll leave this in place until that kind of sets up and then um, we'll let, then I'll pull it out. But now we have that sideways pocket and we can add things to it like I don't know what because I buried everything under that mound of ribbon or lace that I had. Um, but I have, I have, this is an apple pie recipe. I do have the apple pie recipe handwritten out to stick in here as well. Those things can all get tucked into a pocket like this. Okay. So keeping in this fashion, let's go to the back of the book back here and let's do the exact same thing, but let's make a belly band instead. Okay. So do you guys want a horizontal belly band? Or do you guys want a vertical belly band? Which way do you guys like it? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Sleep deprived. She thought this was a mustache. Well, maybe it's the man's mustache who sells them, Elizabeth. <laughs> so anybody want to throw out an idea there? You guys want horizontal or I mean vertical or you want horizontal Annette likes vertical 
Ruth likes vertical. I like the vertical too because let me show you why. In this set, there is like, there's this little envelope that you can fold up like so. And you can write on the inside of it, you guys. Hang on, let me show it to you. I'm just folding it. And she tells you all the stuff, where to put the things and where to glue things and stuff like that. And um, this can open up. So vertical, you know, we can tuck things in this way. We can tuck them in this way. There's a lot you can do versus horizontal. Okay, so we're going to go. I saw more verticals than horizontals. So let's go ahead. One is a pocket in the front and one is going to be the thing in the back. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to run... Um, except for what I think I want to do, oh Lord, don't tell me I lost the end of that ribbon again, is that on this one, let's do this. Just satisfy my thinking for one minute, okay? What do you guys think if we do this? Okay. If we do this, and then we put the, the black down the center. Just like so. And then we can put whatever we like in the middle of that. In fact, I have this really cool kind of apple that would look good in the center. What do you guys think about that? I think I like that. I'm just saying. So what I think we'll do. Is I think we'll flip this over. Sorry if that's too shiny. And we'll work on this. And then move it. You like that? Okay, good. Yay. I like it too. So I get happy when you guys like things. All right. So let's just do our Fabri-Tac thing. And uh, we're just going to, we're just going to go right down the, the line here. Oops. Hang on. My, my piece is tucked under. Here we go. I think our time is almost up though, you guys. All right, and I'm just pulling this and putting this into place like that. And then it sort of matches, right? It matches, but yet we can we can make it kind of our own thing too, right? All right, here we go. What time did I get on? I got on at six. Yeah, my time is almost up, you guys. Wow, that 45 minutes went by very quickly. Just saying. So we'll finish up this belly band. And then we'll skadoot. I appreciate you all very much showing up. Um, sorry that it took so long to pull out the Apple book. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I start on an event like this. And I get my idea happening. And then what happens is I, I don't have to revisit it for a while. So then I almost forget so <laughs> you've got it you got it it's okay it's all good so what I decided to do was to build it on here instead of building it on the book and then we'll just glue it into place over there you enjoyed it Nelda glad I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it who knows if I can't sleep tonight maybe I'll come back on and we'll work on it some more Oh, Molly, you almost missed me, girl. We're just about finished. Okay, so now here's my piece. See how, like, when I picked it up, there was sticky underneath? That you, that you have to be careful with when you're working with lace onto um, something else. Because if you put it, your belly band on there and it gets stuck fast, what good was it? What good did you do yourself? Look at how pretty that looks, though. Doesn't that look pretty... And do you all like the apple, just the simpleness of the apple? Or do you want to see something a little more kind of, I don't know if I want to do another tag though, you guys. I mean, I have this, I mean, that's kind of big. It'll work, but I almost don't like it that big. Do you guys like something a little bigger just the apple or the three apples you guys tell me and i'll be gluing this down um 
the book, the papers are eight and a half by 11. So this is nine. These are nine by 12. So they're actually nine by six then when it's done. Just the one. Okay, I'm seeing a couple people say just the one apple. And ultimately at the end, if I don't like these blue pieces sticking up, I can snip them off. Okay, most of you are saying just the one apple. So that's what we'll go with then. Okay, let me just press that down. And then you want to kind of, when you're doing a belly band with fabric, you want to kind of stretch it and pull it a little bit because you don't want it to not be able to, to do the things, right? Um, let me just stick this under here. Just make sure my my glue is not yep we're good we're not gluing it up and then we can add just the one apple so let's put the one apple let's take a look at that here's the this is the piece here that i thought i would stick in this belly band um and i'm not a huge fan of belly bands but i grow to like them more and more each day um that will work that way it'll also work well that'll look cute like that let's put it that way okay yeah, whatever's behind it isn't hidden. Good, 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 good. We're doing good. We're doing a wonderful job. We're all doing a great job. All right, hang on one second because I had another quick idea. Also, um, I need to pick five names to go in for the journal that I'm giving away. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's next week already. Larry and I will be live at the end of the month to give away a journaling Bible. If you would like to be considered for journaling Bible, Tell me, do you like apple pie or peach pie better? Those are your only choices, so you have to pick one. Let's put that little bow on top of there. It's going to look so sweet. And as soon as I get my glue on, I'll start picking names. There we go. Just like that. Let me grab a pencil or a pen. There has to be some writing utensil in this this twirly thing and I lose them all the time you guys oh good gracious here we go all right so starting with Chrissy Coleman and who else Becky Smith. Turn off my glue machine. Sherry Spencer. Now we're going to skip down a few, so don't say that I missed you, okay? We got Sue Riggle. Miss Sue. We're so glad that you're here, Sue. And if I said your name wrong, I'm really, really sorry. And then let's get Robin Earl. All right, you guys. So we're going to tuck this in because that's a place. That's a place you can write. Right. And then if I grab two of these, we got these papers here. Um, we can fold it in half this way. And we can tuck those in any direction we like. Right. I said it right. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, you guys. Um, I hope you all have a good night. Uh, like I said, if I can't sleep, I might come back live and work on this book some more. I'm going to leave it on the table until tomorrow morning. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning if you want to work on roll, uh, memory decks cards. Um, we're going we're gonna to talk about using them in our journals. So I might leave this stuff out. We might do an Apple-themed one. I'm not really sure. Um, we might do a Christmas themed one. We might do one of each. So we'll talk about those things as well. So thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you for the Crafty Bunch. You guys can watch all the replays over in the Crafty Bunch. I am the last presenter today. So I hope you guys all have a good rest of your night. Remember to always be kind because you never know. Here's my branches. I did use branches today. Here's my branches. Remember to always be kind, guys, because you never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye, guys.